Wow. Wow. And we are back. Volume 6 was such a banger. Thank you to everyone that came to the live stream, to the finale, everything. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, you guys are amazing. Did I really cry on live stream? I did. It was a ball. If that was your first time seeing me live, that's me live. You're probably wondering, why do I sound like I'm all congested? Who asked you that? Not me. I was sick, coincidentally, when I was taking my break. And I just woke up, hence the coffee. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to Ruby. Welcome to Volume 7! Boy, what is about to happen? I'm already scared. Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I am recording, right? We got the Atlas fleet. Manta 5-1, welcome home. Beautiful. Please continue your approach to Atlas Docking Bay Omega-12. A security team will meet you there. Over. I don't understand. What's happening here? I don't know. But... Oh yeah, so that's Crow's new voice actor. Got it. We are here. We got the lamp to Atlas, so... I guess we'd land and get some answers. I'm not so sure. I've never seen our forces deployed so aggressively before. Ooh, if waiting. we land in a stolen ship, there's no way the security team will let us anywhere near Ironwood. They might even take me back to my father. So... Winter! Okay! What's the distance between us and the fleet? You don't have to tell me twice. So there's a city below and a city above. Is this Mantle? Oh, this is giving me God of War vi uh, 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 not God of War, Infamous Vibes. I missed that game. I should bring that back. Many have described these as uncertain times. And while that may be the case for the rest of the world, I can tell you what is certain. The kingdom of Atlas will remain strong, and it will remain safe. That is my promise. The greatest kingdom, by the way. General Ironwood. He looks... tired. James, what have you been doing? <laughs> this isn't right. Yeah, it's not. None of this is right. Yeah. Manta 5-1, we've noticed a detour in your route. You are to make your way to Docking Bay Omega-12 immediately. Do you copy? Over. We're kind of running out of time here, kids. We need to ditch the ship. Agreed. Get lost in Mantle and buy ourselves some time. Oh, I'm good. telling you, my sister can take us to Ironwood. Uh, Weiss? A reminder. Huh? Failure to cooperate with Atlas military personnel is a punishable offense. If your sector is Winter? under lockdown, please No offense, Weiss. But I'm not sure that's a good idea anymore. There's obviously something very wrong. If we can just talk to her, then we- Look, I'm not even sure we should be talking to Ironwood until we know exactly what's going on with Mantle. But everyone, calm down. <sighs> I know someone who can help with both. Manta 5-1, you are to make your- Jeez, lady, take a hint. <laughs> also, I didn't know that Crow's original voice actor was Broly. <laughs> Grandma, where's your other staff, out of curiosity? Do I have it? I'm trying so hard, y'all. over there. Come on now, hurry! It shouldn't be much of a walk. Is this many soldiers normal? No. At least, 
I didn't think so. Huh? Hey, hey! Back up! No! No! See, it's shit like that that makes me scared to go outside. <laughs> Maybe we should pick up the pace. <laughs> you have to remember, the kingdom had just lost the Great War. The people of Mantle needed a sign of a brighter future, and that sign was Atlas. After all, a home in the clouds is about as bright as it gets. I guess. We are here for your safety. Unless you're the one having to look up at it. This whole city, it just seems awful. Yeah? You don't like it here? There's plenty of space out in the tundra. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Alice is the greatest kingdom in the world, all right? Hey! We can't cause a scene. The embargo, the embargo's got us in a rough patch, but it'll blow over, you'll see. We try and help the other kingdoms, and this is what happens? I say a lot of rat! I apologize. I didn't mean to insult you. Stupid finest like you. Oh, oh hell! It was worth it. Why she grew up so much, or actually we grew up so much. Hey, wait! Right? You that that was we both did. What's your trip We are here for your safety. They die. Okay. Thank so you for your cooperation. Uh, I just woke up, so that's why my voice is so deep. Who is this? <laughs> Protect Mantle. Ah, it's good to see you again, old friend. <clears throat> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> My, my, oh my god, my intuition, my vibe is really flaring up. Is it? Oh, hold on, let me take a sip of my crying coffee. Is it that the creator of Penny? I just woke up, I don't want to cry again! Have we met? Well, this is off to a fantastic start. Cybernetic optical implants? You adjust them? Every 10 years or so? So he's the one. Korea! Yes, with a cybernetic optical implant. I adjust Whoa. them every 10 years or so. Oh, wow. Has it been that long already? Oh, I know. I age like a fine wine. Ah. Would have been here sooner if I hadn't run into these jokers. At the time, I thought they might need my guidance while fighting a little old sphinx. Oh, did they? <laughs> no, no. They had much more complicated issues. <clears throat> and this is... <sighs> so impatient. I didn't think I'd need to introduce one of Atlas's finest minds. Working in a place like this? He likes to keep a low profile. Something I've come to realize none of you know anything about. You can call me Pietro. Finest heart, too. This pharmacy is just where he volunteers when he's not building the future of Atlas alongside Ironwood up in the clouds. Oh, it's stuffy up there. Down here, I get to help the locals and have a little fun. I'm uh, currently working on shoes that make you dance. Uh, you I like try them on? Yes! Before we get to that, we were wondering <laughs> if you could help us. We came to Atlas hoping to talk with General Ironwood, but... Um, what exactly has been happening here? <coughs> Ugh, uh, the fall that. of Beacon took a toll on all of us. James was no different. I couldn't tell you exactly what it was he saw there, but it changed him. He's... He's scared. Paranoid would be the more appropriate term. You have to understand, it wasn't just the Grimm. Someone completely dismantled Atlas security code, made it their plaything, and made us look like traitors to some and buffoons to everyone else. Whoever managed to do that is either a genius or 
one of our own. I fear the answer may be both. And so does the general. Hmm. Maybe Atlas isn't as safe as we thought. After we came all this way, we can't just leave, can we? How does the council feel about all of this? Or Winter Schnee? Do you know anything about her? Well, the council's so scared they'll agree to whatever he wants. Really? Though some representatives from Madelar. Wait, your your wife Schnee. Wait, what was it that you were trying to say about Mantle? You painted it. What? What? Is everything okay? You're Team Ruby. You know us? Oh, my girl, I do. I most certainly do. Is that good? And I feel like such a dunce for not recognizing you sooner. My daughter's told me so much about you. Your daughter? My body just... Oh, God. Trouble. Wait! My body just fell. He created Penny, didn't he? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. I guess the city defenses aren't doing much. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Okay. Well, hopefully not Lenny. Well, we didn't come this far to fail now. Let's go. What? Saber tooth? Turn us up. <laughs> Nora be and Nora. Yeah! Okay! Ooh! Come on, Oscar. Look at the boy! Let's go, Ruby! Ooh! Yeah! Magnificent! Let's go, Red! Ooh! Come on, Yang! I'm sweating. You say hello to your friends. <gasps> no, no, Sal, uh, you, uh, Patience! No! 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 Oh shit! No! I gotta cry in the corner. No! Uh uh. No! 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 Come on! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! No! No! I just woke up! My voice is cracking! I was gonna say, y'all don't understand, but y'all do. Penny did not. Have to get killed the way that she can. That, that sucked. I will never forget that moment.
I never will. And apparently, she remembers Ruby. Now, I have questions with that. Like, how? Like, I... let's just, let's just move forward. It is such a pleasure to see you all again. My heart. Penny, I, I, I thought you died. I guess in a manner of speaking, she did. But we were able to recover her core from Amity Arena once it had made its way back to Atlas. It took me some time, but... I'm as good as new, better even, and now I'm the official protector of the city. That's my girl. We're not going to let a little ripping to shred stop us, are we? <laughs> no, sir. This is... strangely wholesome. Emotional! Sounds like Penny to me. We have so many things to catch up about. I cannot wait. It seems we will have to wait. Uh. Let's talk more later. I can't wait to hear about all your adventures. I'm very excited for the whole experience. No, no, it, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts, though. I'm like happy. No, I, I'm, am I crying again? I can't even speak. I feel so betrayed. I feel so just hurt. Rooster teeth. I need you to. It don't even matter what I'm about to say because y'all made a whole volume and chapters after this. I swear to God, if something else happens to Penny, I might not watch this again. I can't though. tell if I completely understand what's going on or have like a million questions. And thankfully, I have about a thousand answers. But let's get out of this weather first. I have absolutely no idea who that child was. Is she important somehow? That Ready. was unexpected. Never a dull moment. But I wouldn't say unwelcome. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. And because you said that... Bro, bro, why you say that? Uh oh. Good work, team. Hey, what's going on? Hey, pal, I'm a licensed huntsman. Just help save everyone. Let's get them loaded into the next transport. Please! We were just trying to help! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what are the Ace Ops even doing down here in Map? Ace Ops? Ace Ops? Doctor, good to see you. Well, we heard a report of an unauthorized ship making an unauthorized landing, followed by an unauthorized use of weapons by non-licensed huntsmen. <sighs> if we could just talk this out. They'll be able to talk this out once they get up to Atlas. Let's move out. I don't know if this, this is good or bad. This is much closer to what I was expecting. No, 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 no. That must be the intro. I'm not looking. Press the escape button, please. Chapter 2. What is it? Bruh. A new approach. Please tell me I missed the intro. I, I'm trying so hard not to be spoiled. Just let it happen organically. Okay, it sounds about right. I heard the symbol fade off. This is stressful! I love Nora. Where do you think they're taking us? I'm gonna go with jail. I still can't believe that fishing pole guy took us out like it was nothing. Fishing Welcome to Atlas. Those were Ironwood's ace operatives. Hmm? You guys had a run-in with the ace ops? Ironwood must really have a bone to pick with you. They're not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? 
The Aesops are the elite of elite military huntsmen and Ironwood's personal attack dogs. So they got you too, huh? I wouldn't let myself get caught by them. I'm here because I've been speaking out against Atlas's exploitation of Mantle, and General Ironwood is trying to silence me. You threw a brick at her ship. It's worth it if it gets people talking about our cause. <laughs> our cause? Yes, the fight for better conditions in Mantle, led by the charismatic, talented, lovely Robin Hill and her happy huntresses. They were all top Atlas Academy graduates who could have signed up for the military, but Robin and the Huntresses chose to stay in Mantle. She's gunning for a seat on the Kingdom's Council, and when she gets it, she's gonna put an end to Ironwood's tyranny! Happy Huntresses. Is that their real name? Don't you think tyranny's a little dramatic? No. Easy to say for a Schnee heiress living comfortably up in Atlas. <sighs> Not anymore. Boy, this is a lot. Wow, that's a lot! Oh, it's gorgeous up here. Don't let that fool you. Huh? Right, right, right. This isn't the police station. It's Atlas Academy. Goodness! I guess we will be seeing the general. For better or worse. That's what I was thinking the whole time, like, y'all are going to Ironwood, which so, what do we do? I don't know yet, but we should be careful with what we say. We'll follow your lead, Ruby. I'm in here. What? I'm over here looking straight into the side, looking at these two dudes left and right. <gasps> Yay, you're here! Winter. <gasps> Whoa. Anyone want to give us a hand with these? You have 10 seconds to take those off before I start hurting you. I'm sorry? Oh, to the guards. Please let us help you. Forgive us. I thought she was saying that to us. I'm like, hello? Please, come in. It is so good to see all of you. Our reception didn't really convey that. Yeah. I sincerely regret how you were treated by my team. When a rogue airship entered our airspace, it raised some red flags. We assumed the ship was stolen. Stolen? <laughs> okay, yeah. It I was mean, stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stole an Atlas airship? What were you thinking? You might have been shot down. How unbelievably irresponsible. I'm sorry I worried you. But we did what we had to do. You so did! I... Oh my god! I suppose I understand. But I cannot believe that you allowed this to happen, oh Crow. You try stopping these kids when they have their minds set on something. Speaking of which, we have some important information for you that's confidential. Oh, is it about the relics? What? Or perhaps the Winter Maiden? Oh my god, not another, please! Please, not another maiden already, dude. Just now, I'm nervous and scared because here's here's my semblance, here's my brain start starting to do stuff. I'm looking at every movement of every character I see. What if it's Penny? <laughs> that'll be that'll be crazy if the Winter Maiden is Penny. 
Hold on. It's time to reach! So you know what they were trying to do to Amber, right? Who's to say that I would really did try to do that with another maiden? The Winter Maiden. If they're in Atlas. I'm putting a pin on that. You told them? Did you really think you were the only one who got to work on a new plan after Beacon? With Ozpin gone, I needed my own team of people I could trust. So yes, I told them. The Aesops, too. You told the Aesops! I'm so glad you're here. With this. No, 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 no. See, I don't... It's something about the Aesops. Mm-mm. I feel like I don't know who's in it all the way, but one of them has to be either a rogue underneath or working for Salem or something. We know how this goes. Until now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. Oz has pushed her back, has kept victory out of her claws, but she will keep returning stronger and stronger. I hate that. Unless we destroy her. But how? But what about the Atlas Relic? You mean the Staff of Creation? It's safe inside the vault. And the Winter Maiden? She is secure and in stable condition. Secure and in stable condition. So you know what they were trying to do to Amber, right? Why? So y'all have her captive. Why? Stable condition? What does She's, that- She's uh, not exactly a spring chicken. What does that mean? I know how this all looks. So Crow knows too. my military, the embargo, I probably don't seem the most trustworthy right now. Then why continue it? The people of Mantle are hurting. I needed to ensure Salem couldn't infiltrate Atlas. And I wanted my military here, protecting my people. But it's not protecting them. It's making everyone hate you. <sighs> it's a price I'm willing to pay. Just as you all have been entrusted with the knowledge of Salem's existence, I need you all to trust me. I have a plan. I keep forgetting that he's the Osmond headmaster believed and... the best way to fight Salem was to do so in secret. Whether that was the right choice or not, Leave isn't for me to say. But we find ourselves in a position of needing, well, a new approach. And what do you suggest? That's... Amity Coliseum, right. where the Vital Festival is held? Right. Indeed. When Beacon fell and everyone on Remnant lost contact with one another, I knew our current system was outdated. Amity was built to bring the nations together, and it will serve that purpose once again. Isn't it great? We're not going to just replace Beacon Tower. Building a new tower on top of Amity Coliseum will re-establish global communications. By launching the tower high into the atmosphere, our scientists believe we can create a sort of satellite out of reach of the Grim and capable of maintaining global communications even if we were to lose another tower. That is great. James, you don't need the entire military for this. I will for the next part. Where I finally tell the people about Salem. What? But why? <laughs> so that's why you withdrew your troops. To handle the panic that will break out in Atlas. Yes, panic is inevitable. And panic brings grim. But I believe we are ready. Once Atlas has come to grips with the fight ahead, I'll use Amity Tower to spread the message to all a remnant. But everything will fall apart. Grim will be everywhere. You're right. Dude, what is bigger than Kevin, Lenny? Well, actually, Lenny's dead, so that's fine. Kevin's still alive, though. What is bigger than Kevin? There's got to be something that... Oh, that's... Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My whole body just got shivers because this is, like, real. But Atlas is willing and prepared to assist. Trying to hide the truth in the world will eventually kill us all. Oh, this sucks. I spent his whole life, many lives, 
keeping this secret. I know. But since Beacon, things have changed. Without him here to guide us, all I can do is use my best judgment. What is it? Actually, Oz isn't completely gone. Uh, Oscar here is... is the next Ozpin. Oz? Wow. I'm so glad you're here. I didn't think you... Not quite. He's kind of, um, gone at the moment. That's not normal. How did he... We don't know. We were in a train crash, and ever since, well, uh, suddenly Oz wasn't there anymore. <sighs> it's the worst news yet. Did you learn anything from him about the relics before... He told us the lamp can answer three questions. But all the questions were used up already. Ooh! Right, right. Ospin told us that too, once upon a time. At least we have you, Oscar. You're safe here in Atlas. Maybe together we can figure out how to bring Ospin back. Thank you, sir. I don't like that. I mean, uh, General. I Ironwood? Don't use this wish. Stop! You're giving it back to me? After what happened with the Aesops, I don't want you to think I'm keeping anything from you. Especially something as important as this. I feel like you are still- For the time being, I think it's safest with the people who brought it here. Um, thank you. It's time to reach! What if that's a fake? What if that's a replica? They have the technology to do something like that. So I, my vibe, ooh, mm -mm, Ironwood, it's, it's something about you. We must work together if we are to fight Salem and win. Now, if you're all on board. Tell us how we can help. Good. Because getting the Amity Tower ready to launch won't be easy. But first, I think we need to get those weapons of yours up to our standards. Okay. Remember, this is Atlas. While assisting the military, we will provide you with the best equipment our scientists can devise. Okay. Really? Yeah! So that okay. was the second time I got banned. Then there was the third time when- All right, cut the chatter. Got I'd like to sincerely apologize for the miscommunication down in Mantle. We didn't intend- I feel so <laughs> bad, honestly. If we had known who you were, we'd be laughing over a hot meal right now and- I understand uh, you were- Following orders. I mean, you could have asked us some questions first. Uh. <laughs> ah, questions are for the weak. But we're all on the same team now. Not that I'm happy about it. Oh. We just wanted to say we're sorry. <laughs> and that we're looking forward to working with you on our next mission. You might be students, but you've been fighting just as hard as we have. Mm. If not harder. Mm. Exactly why I'm looking forward to seeing what you kids can do. <sighs> Not everything's a competition, Hare. Come on! Let me show you around campus! Crow. Hmm? I'm afraid to have hope right now and laugh. I meant it when I said it was good to see you again. Uh, yeah. You too. Okay. So that way's the cafeteria, and that <laughs> way's the training rooms. Oh, and over there are the classrooms. <sighs> this all looks great, Penny. But where are we staying? Remember, you're in Atlas now. As the most well-funded school on Remnant, every team at Atlas Academy gets their own room. And if that wasn't enough... So we're staying in the dorms? Be just like bacon again. No. 
about y'all are mistreating Mantle though. Like, every time y'all describe how great well, Atlas is, it makes me think of Mantle. For the last time, a singular hideout makes us more susceptible to discovery. But what if we're seen? What if we're recognized? We stay mobile. <laughs> Walking around a city with a thousand eyes. <sighs> well, cybersecurity has been stepped up in Atlas. As usual, none of the code was updated in Mantle. Okay, so he's like hacking it everything. It should be. Got it. I helped write that code after Of course. All. Yep. There it is. Wow. <sighs> well, I suppose we all have our talents. Tyrion, what did you just do? The credits, right? Oh my gosh, bro. Chapter 3 Ace Operatives. All right, gather round. Our mission today is to secure the launch site for the Amity Communications Tower. The designated area is an abandoned dust mine. Since its closure, the Grim have moved in. The good news? is all that untouched dust is still down there, too. Mm. Science team says they'll need it for the first phase of their launch. Apologies for the mess, and for holding on to your weapons for so long. The upgrades you requested were, uh, well, there were more than I anticipated. <laughs> Atlas military huntsmen are already hard at work clearing out the surrounding tundra. But Recon has identified a powerful geist that's managed to evade destruction and really? take several lives. After we increased our numbers, the Geist was smart enough to retreat into the mine itself. Really? Meaning it's old and extremely dangerous. This is our target. Your new weapons and armor should be as requested, but I also took the liberty of reviewing- Why am I smiling? Because it's Geist, Ghost, you know? Combat footage from the Vital Festival Tournament. There's some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. Uh, oh, but for now, uh, these should serve you well. New drip! The mine was a labyrinth back in the day. There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. Ugh, okay. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split up and corner it. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of combat. I trust that man with my life. So tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all, too. Hey. Ruby. Let's make it happen, <laughs> Look at the drip! Okay! Okay! Ooh, okay. I get it. What's up, gang? Blake cut her hair. This is my favorite part. Won't get yourselves killed after all. She meant that as a compliment. Sorry, I'm just 
Okay, you look Zelda good. Squad, okay, you crow. Let me stop shouting. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> the drip. On foot. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. Keep your eyes and ears open. I want an update if you encounter the target. Ooh. Alpha out. Huh? Uh, sorry. Just not used to the new hair yet. Is it bad? No, no. It's good. Great, even. Man, I did not sign up to be a babysitter. Yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> SDC, not CDC, like I said in the stream. Why did Adam have that on his eye? Was he tested by the SDC? Anyway. Hmm. Oh, they're in the mining area, and that's okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's freezing out here. Without heating or a projected aura, the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. Why is how did your hair? Okay. Suddenly you don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. Can we talk about that again? What about it? Mm -hmm. We're really not gonna tell Ironwood what happened to Oz? What we learned about Jin? About Salem? We are. We will. But you saw how things looked when we flew into Atlas. The General's heart seems to be in the right place, but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. Okay. How did Oscar feel about that? Uh, probably shouldn't keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain, you know? <laughs> but... I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, hiding things from Ironwood, doesn't that feel like what Ozpin did to us? Ooh, yeah, 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 for good reason, though. Gotta say, I get it. Still not really used to working with other huntsmen in the field. But you were on a team before, weren't you? <sighs> a long time ago. Damn. I just found working alone tends to be for the best. Well, I think that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha here. Give me an update. Oh the connecting God. ice tunnels seem clear. Alpha here. We should be approaching the actual mine any minute now. This is so exciting! It feels like we're an actual Huntsman team! I, um, like what you did with your outfit, Ren. We should probably stay focused on the mission. Ren! Nor find somebody else. Look at the si Oh, okay. I like your outfit, too. Hm. Bravo, checking in. Hit a bit of a snag. There's been a cave-in in the main entrance. Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Understood. Let us know if you need anything. Blake? You okay? I just realized where we are. This mine was closed after an explosion. I remember this disaster. Or rather, I remember how furious it made my father. Oh. Uh... I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused the Faunus, and all of my complacency in it. This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom, and humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us, but there are still those who actively abuse us. Anyway, I didn't come over here looking to solve systemic societal issues. Yeah, Harriet found a gap in the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Ideally someone with a knack for seeing in the dark? Uh, oh, of course. Are you really that? Are you too big to fit in? Oh, Jesus. Mm. I need saving. All right, Blake. Take a look around. Is there any dust in the immediate area? Mine cards, uh, debris. No dust, though. This Great. Is me then it should be to blast again. our way through. Okay. Heading back. <laughs> Ain't no way. There is no. I really just got. <laughs> Look where I paused. Damn it. Blake, stand back. Whoa! Don't let it get away. Huh? Bitch. Ah, 
Pardon the game! That's disgusting. Yay! Oh! Okay! It's a boomer that's fire. Oh my god. Skin. This is Robo. We found the target, but it fled deeper into the mine. And nice. Kate Sentinel. Let's pick up the pace. Uh. Oh. Okay! Magnificent! Head first approach. Yeah, well, that's just kind of our style. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm not gonna do it. You know I see it. <laughs> One left. Makes you super fast, just like me. Very cool. Though, based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. This is Alpha. We've engaged the target. All squads, head towards our position. It is a fishing rod. Raw that I want Floyd to win? <laughs> Wait, stop! Darn it. Target oh. escaped. Last scene headed east. Thanks for the call out. That could have been bad. I wouldn't thank me. My semblance brings misfortune. Sometimes I can't keep it under control. That's so? Well, hey, don't beat yourself up about it. My semblance is good fortune. Lucky you, huh? Huh! Charlie, bravo. You should be able to cut off the target at the heart of the mine. Crow and I won't be far behind. Okay. I kind of see what they're saying, but I'm not going to make any assumptions quite yet. Wow, this... <sighs> what? Okay. Guys! Everyone use caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. I was about to say, Triggering yeah. Triggering it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. How is that always second with you? I thought the target was supposed to be in here. <gasps> the target is in here. Oh, this is some end-level boss kind of... It added dust to its body? How are we supposed to... Help! Is that supposed to be... What's his name? Dal Sim from Street Fighter?
What would you guys do without me? Okay. your semblance was like mine. It is? I've seen other speed semblances before. That, that was different. I think there's more going on than you think. Wait until she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Lucky great... catch, huh? Hmm. No. I chalked that one up to talent. Atlas Control, this is Clover. Mission accomplished. Okay, okay, I'm starting to sweat. Mm. Whoa! Who are you? No, oh, that was good. Oh, well, I'm someone just like you. Someone who wants to mix things up around here. <laughs> 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 what is this? I don't know what I'm doing. Wow. Wow. Okay, volume seven is already crazy and insane. Wow. So much just happened in the first three chapters. Penny is back. Ah! I feel happy, but I'm also deathly nervous just because don't. Don't let anything else happen to Penny, please. My heart, mind, spirit, soul cannot handle it, okay? The team got new drip. It's something about Ironwood. Like, I feel like he's half in, half out. Like, he doesn't know all of like Salem being immortal, but he knows that Oz reincarnates. That's all that he knows probably because Oscar, not Oscar, Ozpa in the past probably told him, cool. I feel like that relic is fake, or maybe Ironwood is going to persuade Oscar to give him the lamp and ask a question, even though Ruby told Ironwood there were no more wishes. But wait, wouldn't he suspect, like, there's no more wishes, why do you have the lamp still? Mm. We got some new characters, Ace Ops, all right. I think I'm gonna save the opening for the next video. I thought about doing it right after chapter three, but I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm kinda tired. Thank y'all for enjoying this video. I love you guys, I'ma see y'all next week. No matter how much hurts move forward, keep that BMA. Check out glitchgrave.com for more. And I'll see y'all next Friday. Y'all ain't no, like I, my heart kinda feels healed a little bit, knowing that Penny is back. But it's just, dude, I'm I'm shaky, I'm nervous. Just don't don't let it happen again. Don't let Rooster Teeth, you think I'm kidding? I would not watch this anymore if she dies again. <laughs>